guys, so this video was meant to be like a week with me in Perth and like living in Perth, sorting out my accommodation, sorting out my job in Sydney, but honestly it's just turned into, uh, it's very, very stressful. So I've not filmed for the last two days. Um, I have started filming on Saturday, I think. I'll put that footage in, in next because um, we went to, um, I think it's Queen's Park and Botanical Gardens in Perth, uh, like CBD, which was really, really lovely. Um, and then we came back, um, we went to this unreal cookie place. It's like a chunky cookie, like American style chunky cookie place. So we went to that um, on the way back and then came back and just chilled and yeah, I like watched TV for the evening basically. And then Sunday and Monday, I've been bad with filming because we've been in a bit of a stressful situation, but I will explain that to you in a minute. I'm just gonna pop out. I'm gonna go and get a coffee. I need to put my washing on um, and then I will be back. So I'll put the other footage in here now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you really what we get up to over the next few days whilst we're in Perth. Uh, excuse me. Um, we've not really got anything planned, but I imagine we'll see like quite a bit of the city. So just thought I'd show you and show you around like Fremantle as well. So this morning we got a very nice coffee from a place called, what was it called Tom? I forgot the name I'm in here. I can't remember it, but a very nice coffee. And then we got the train from Fremantle to Kings Park and Botanical Gardens, which is where we are now. I'm just walking around. To be honest, I'm not feeling that great. I've not taken my iron tablets for a few days. So I'm feeling hella dizzy for no reason and faint. I've got a little lemonade lollipop to try and pet me up a bit. And we keep going in circles, as you can see by this reaction. Um, but I'll show you the gardens because they're quite pretty and I don't know if there's like a specific like bit where all the flowers are in the botanical gardens in Sydney there is um, but I'm not sure and have some exciting news about our progress in plan so I might tell you that when I'm back home because I don't feel nice right now <laughs> this is the gardens uh, well I actually I imagine this is the park bit um, you can drive here we've just got the train and we're just walking it's very sunny which and it was really um misleading this morning so it was really cold in the apartment so i've come out in jeans and a hoodie and i've taken my hoodie off and now it's like 25 degrees and i'm in australia and i'm wearing jeans and i'm absolutely boiling so that's fun <laughs> I've just put the dishwasher on just as I'm about to do this bit of the video, but I'm yeah, hopefully it's not too loud for you. Um, so as I said earlier, all of that, that stuff, and then I went for a walk, and then I found I've got I felt a lot better. Um, I went to a very nice coffee place. It was called I'll put the name in here. It come when I when I searched like best coffee in Fremantle, it came up, and then I also went for a walk like around the docks. And I just overall felt a lot better. But I'll tell you the situation. And this is sort of like a pre-warning if you are moving out to Australia. Because basically, when I moved over here two and a half years ago, it was when um, COVID had just hit. There were loads of properties, like, because people were going home, people weren't, like, people were scared, so they were leaving, and people weren't coming in because they weren't allowed. So as a renter, you had, like, a lot of options. You had loads of, you had a lot of options, basically. Um, however, now COVID is not a thing, um, it's like switched around and there's like this rental crisis going on where everybody is really, really struggling to find an apartment to live in. So it's going to be difficult full stop. What makes it even more difficult is that we're in WA. So everywhere that you 
like one to live, obviously they want you to see it in person. And you can't really do an application for a lease place or accept like a short term lease without set, accept a short term accommodation, like in someone else's house, like just renting out a room without seeing without seeing it in person because then it's like they could be scammers they think you're a scammer because you're not there in person like you're not just going to give someone like a 800 dollars for a bond and then you know it's just risky risky business so that's been stressing us out a lot it's currently tuesday i have successfully got myself an event job which i'm super happy about um, it's actually with my old company, so I'm I'm super, super happy with it. And that starts on Wednesday. Um, so we're going to try and leave Perth. No, we do need to leave Perth on Sunday. And currently we have nowhere to live in, in New South Wales. We've messaged so many people. Um, it's just such a stress. And obviously, like, we've got a lot of stuff with us this time because we've come over for, like, a long period of time. Um... It's just like it's just a lot i'm spending every, I, like the last two days i said i didn't um record anything because i literally spent all day on the computer messaging people trying to find somewhere to live yeah everybody please get your fingers crossed for me because yeah we need it <laughs> hi guys um it's the next day now um we have secured a accommodation from the 6th of november and Tom's looking at me because when first he's like, November. first of November, um, because I made a TikTok about it and he was like, oh, you secured it, did you? Oh, was that you? Well, no, it was actually him, but uh, anyway. So yeah, it's the evening now. I feel like I will try and show you actually like what Fremantle town like looks like. We're just gonna walk out, just going for a walk by the beach um, and maybe to try and catch sunset. Uh, this morning we went for, we went back to that Peggy's place where we got that coffee from in the first place. Mm -mm. I got a sandwich from there that was a mushroom and cheese toasty with pesto. It sounded delicious. It looks delicious. It was not nice. Um, but yeah, Tom's was nice. He got the deli version. But yeah, no, it wasn't good. Um, and then it came back, just been doing some editing. Obviously been house hunting. But yeah, so I'll take you out now um, and show you some of Fremantle. Hello, um, I've been all full of vlogging the last couple of days, but I've not really done much to vlog about. But it's Saturday today. We had an absolute nightmare with our accommodation last night. The host basically, that we booked for Sydney, the host basically got like banned from the platform because he had like suspicious activity. So we had to find somewhere to stay within like two days. We've managed to do it, but it's just a bit of a nightmare. Um, but right now, I'm going to Scarborough to meet my friend who I used to work with um, for breakfast. That's very loud. And then I need to go into the city because I start work on Wednesday and I need to get some clothes because I didn't bring any work clothes with me because I didn't think I'd get a job this soon, which is great, but yeah. So we've come to a rooftop bar in Sydney, uh, in Perth, I'm so used to saying that now. Um, it's called, oh, the Avery, and it's like right by the train station, and it's very cute, look. Excuse my appearance, I have a hair mask in, it looks like I'm bald and wet, but I'm not, it's just a hair mask. Um, so, I didn't really capture much more footage after that last clip, we flew back to Sydney the day after I think that was taken, so we didn't have much uh, else to show. I will include a couple of clips that I got, uh, and I'm surprised that I didn't talk about this when I was actually there, but the Fremantle markets are amazing. Um, we went there so much for this Turkish dish um, that was like a crepe with like spinach and feta, and then you pick like what protein you want. So you could have like salami or we could have like mushroom if you're a vegetarian or any of that stuff. It was so good. We had it like probably four times in the week that we stayed there. Um, so that's the Fremantle markets. Uh, and then yeah, we flew to Sydney the next day. And sorry, I don't know why I'm going like this because we didn't come here. We went, we went to Dulwich Hill in an Airbnb for two weeks. And now we're in Newtown um, and we are trying to find a place. So I hopefully think 
the next time that I do like another vlog, um, it will be me in my new apartment, you know, being like, yay, this is, we finally found the perfect one, which we think we saw today, but you know, we've done a lot of applications. We've had a lot of projections already. So we'll see how it goes. But yes, I'm in Sydney now. Um, we had a lot of fun in Perth. I've started my new job. It's all going well. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next week. Bye.